Texas Tech on Friday. Uh, is there an element of revenge going into that game since they were the ones that eliminated you guys from the conference tournament last year? Absolutely. It's, it's a new team, but most of our returners understand the disappointment we felt last year. Uh, losing in the Big 12 tournament, so I know that'll be on uh, many minds uh, going into this game Friday. Um, you've got the number one ranking again this week in all three polls. What was the, your reaction and the team's reaction to that? It's it's definitely flattering to see the nation, the coaches, these polls just supporting our hard work. We understand and we knew it, you know, a few weeks back that. Uh, it doesn't mean anything till it's the end of the year, so it's still not the end of the year, but I, I think that it, it definitely speaks to how hard this team is working and that it's a huge uh, reward to their hard work, but nothing, nothing's happened yet. It's just a ranking. You guys haven't allowed a goal yet in conference play. I think you've shut out all four of your opponents. Uh, how, what do you credit your defense? What have they been doing in order to get those set up? Yeah, it's, it's leadership. Uh, Kadisha is doing a great job. You know, leading back there, you have Amadin, who's doing a great job. Um, Esther, Bianca, Carly, you know, they're they're just really in sync. And then you have Riley and Michelle Newhouse uh, in the net, and they're just really paying attention to detail and, and making sure that, you know, we're, we're not giving any good looks and, and denying any good opportunities. What are you expecting from Texas Tech? How do you think they're going to come at you guys? This oh, they're going to they're gonna come. They're going to come hard, you know. They'll be organized. It's always a great game, and we always battle uh, between the two programs. They're very, very dynamic in the attack. Um, you know, they, they've brought in some real dynamic players. So we know coming in, it's going to be a, a very challenging game for us and uh, know that both teams are hunting for a win. So mentally, physically, tactically, technically, we're all going to be battling Friday night. Having said that, then, how big would the, a crowd factor into Friday night? So uh, 6 o'clock. Six o'clock, fans got to come out. It's a different kickoff time. The fans have been behind us all year thus far, and you know we have two more to go. So we hope that they'll come out and cheer us on and help us get through uh, this game and, and give us the energy, um, you know, for a big game Friday. So Texas Tech was the team that knocked you guys out of the conference tournament last year. Do you, do you guys kind of have a idea of revenge on your minds, maybe going into Friday's match? Um, I mean, of course, you know, we think of that game um, and we were definitely disappointed. But yeah, every day we're just, you know, training. Um, we know every opposition is a challenge. Um, Texas Tech, there's a bit more of that motivation behind it, but we're just going to stick to our game plan and, of course, look for the result. Coming back home after a successful weekend last week on the road, what are you guys trying to, how do you keep that momentum going? I think it's just finding that, you know, that balance. Um, you know, we have that confidence, but you know, we don't want to get complacent. So we were in this position before we were number one, um, and it didn't last for too long uh, because we did get that loss to Georgetown. So I think it's for us to maintain that focus um, and stay just use every training session to get better. And we know that every game now um, counts towards, you know, our number one ranking and just getting those points uh, towards the tournament. I think it's four straight shutouts. What are those young ladies doing behind you that make them so successful? Um, they're doing so much. You know, every day in training, you could see, you know, Izzo working with them and just putting that attention, you know, on getting those shutouts. And it, it's reflected onto the games. You know, we're scoring goals, but at, at the same time, we have to prevent um, other teams from scoring. So, yeah, it's just a huge credit to, you know, the likes of Kadisha Buchanan um, with her leadership back there um, and her communication and just Bianca, Esther stepping up, you know, being sophomores. So, yeah, I, th I think just overall um, defense wins championships and it's shown um, every game. Texas Tech comes in after losing two games last weekend, probably going to really be looking for a win this weekend. How do you kind of combat their feistiness? Friday. I mean, I think it's just every game that we're going into it, um, you know, every team's going to come out. They want our number one ranking. So for us, we just have to, again, we have to stay composed, um, focus on our game plan, and just know that, you know, every team's going to have a strategy, whether it's to, um, you know, physically knock us off the ball getting, um, getting fouls, or if it's just certain tactics. So for us, no matter what, we can only control what we can control, and that's our game plan, West Virginia soccer. Um, and yeah, our goal is to go out and get that win on Friday.